We are back at part B of the question. Now let me read you the question. Shima then placed bottle B into the freezer overnight. When she removed bottle B from the freezer the next morning, she observed that she could no longer pour substance W out of bottle B. Explain her observation. Now, first of all, her observation is already given to you. She could not pour substance W out of the bottle. Okay, then you got to explain how come you can't pour it out. And this is worth two marks. Always look at the number of marks. Then you know how much you got to write. Okay, so first of all, you got to explain how come you can't pour it out. So first thing you got to tell me, substance W has turned from liquid state to solid state. Now, always try to tell me from which state to which state. Now, it is actually all right to just tell me Substance W has turned to solid state. But if you want to make your answer more complete, it's always good to say, turn from liquid state to solid state. Now go on and explain. You can't just stop here. Because the idea here is you must explain how come you cannot pour out. So if you tell me solid state, then you got to say, as substance W could no longer be poured out. Now you tell me could no longer be poured out. You are just repeating what is being said down here. So you don't earn any marks from it. So you must say, as substance W could no longer be poured out. Then you go and tell me. So it does not take the shape of bottle B. Hence, it has a definite shape. Remember, if it doesn't take the shape of the container anymore, means it has a definite shape. It's the opposite of part A. So if you have forgotten what I've said in part A, go and revisit part A, okay? So now let me type out the answer. Substance W has turned from liquid state to solid state. Go on and explain why as substance W could no longer be pour out this shows that substance w does not take the shape of the bottle so it has a definite shape. Okay, I hope you have understood this already. Go and revisit both videos. Enjoy!